Hello, welcome, welcome back. back to View of Source 2013, the Real People's File. Um, if you notice that we changed our logo on the Facebook page, yes, um, we were surprised by that. It looks really good. Our, we have a nice skull coming out of the ground. With just, just check it out. It's pretty cool. And the uh, we also have a new cover picture too for the the web show. Facebook for the Facebook. Mm. Um, well, it's kind of like a web show. We, we produce our web... But Facebook oh, no. isn't a web show, technically. Oh, for those who go through um, YouTube, if you want our Facebook page, there's a viewer's choice. Yeah, viewer's choice. Again, viewer's choice. That's how you look it up. Or you can look up by email viewerschoice2013 at gmail.com. And you'll get the Facebook page and, you know, send us a friend invite. Um, just and so y'all know, that's where we also are. We're, we're just not on YouTube. We're on Facebook, too. Just had an end promote there. Yeah, that's where you can sound off and give us your topics and stuff like that. And sure. also send us comments of not only the Facebook page, but the YouTube channel as well, where we do our shows, of course. So here we are. For people watching in the news. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll turn it over to you for people watching. All right, people watching, welcome. So Presented by Risk. <laughs> it's Risk, baby. <laughs> all right. Oh, so an office depot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So tonight, for people watching, I want to know why people. Well. Not people in general, but specifically larger um, people, men and women. And then there are also the men and women who aren't that large, like really large, but they're bigger than skinny people. But they feel as though they need to go through drastic measures to lose weight. I don't understand that. Why do people think that they're big, think they need to lose weight? It's a state of mind, I it's guess. It's who you are. It's how you're built. And it's sure. not some people. Oh, they eat too much. There's people who don't who eat a regular diet, and there's just big people. Yeah, it's either you know they have thyroid condition, uh, big bones, I guess. Well, you know what the problem is. It's out there in the media. It's definitely the media. And they 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 show a certain type of person, and that's the type of person that people should look like. Mm. It's it's the view they put on us that oh. We should look like fucking Angelina Jolie. We should look like Brad Pitt. Well, here's the kicker. They down big people, right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm classified as a too skinny person. Yeah, that's... So you can't be too skinny, and you can't be big. Right, you gotta be you gotta be fit. You gotta have be muscular. You gotta have a six-pack. You gotta have nice, firm tits. You gotta have a nice ass. I mean, Why? I, I might be skinny, but I have muscle. For my size, I have a good amount of muscle. You know, I'm happy with me. I don't need to think I need to gain weight. I'll gain weight if I gain weight. Now, to be honest, I, as a big person, there are times where I feel uncomfortable, and then there are times where I feel good about myself. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm my own person. I love me for me. I have somebody that loves me for me. And... It's fine. It it makes me feel better. It, you know, and that's the biggest thing. Big people, skinny people, people in general. Mm -hmm. You gotta love yourself for who you are. Exactly. And for what you, you know, it don't matter your size. It don't matter your ethnic ethnicity. And ethnicity. It doesn't matter your race, your creed, your sexual orientation, your religion, your sexual preference, your religion. It don't matter any of that. You gotta like yourself for yourself. I'm a, I'm gonna use a quote. I'm a, cause I've used this quote before. I'm gonna use it again from RuPaul. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? And this ties into this. If you can't be yourself, or if you pretend that you're somebody that you're not, then who are you really? Hmm, I like that. I don't, I've never heard that one before. I like that. And that's my own saying. I have always said it. You know. So yeah, topic of um. What was that? Liposuction. Liposuction. Why? It's it's the most dangerous thing that you can do to lose weight. 
Because even if you get the liposuction, you're still going to have the excess skin that you're going to still uh, work, have to work out anyway. Still going to have to exercise to get rid of it, and you're still going to have to eat right. So it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Why go to liposuction when you're still going to have to exercise, eat right, and all that, when you could just exercise and eat right to begin with and avoid the surgery? You know, I just I just came up with the topic for tonight. There are people watching. Okay. The, the segment that y'all going to see after we're done, people watching it in the news. Love yourself for yourself. Okay. So, um... We're going to continue that portion in that topic. Alright. So, I'll... I'll cut it here, and we'll continue when we hit our topic. See, so he I'll came start. up with the topic tonight without even realizing he came up with the topic. Right. right? <laughs> See, we're getting good at this, aren't we? Too? <laughs> so, so I'll end people watching here, and I'll turn it over to uh, Tony D for in the news. Okay, we're going to do what we did the other night. I'm going to read the articles so they know where it's coming from, mm -hmm. and then we're going to touch base on the article. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first article that we're going to look at real quick is from CNN. Um, I like CNN because it does produce a lot of great information. Um, you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the main headline tonight on CNN, um, I got to find the article again. Again? Again. 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 God damn it, again. Um, while I'm trying to find the article, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, the secret revealed an Ohio woman unknowingly married her father. What? She's um, she's already retired. She's, she's already retired. Her husband already passed on. Okay. It wasn't until recently after her husband passed that her family, after she did some digging, found out that the guy that she was married to and loved happened to be her father when her wow. mother and father were in their early teens they got pregnant and her being a baby got moved over to her grandparents to be raised mm -hmm. the father vanished out of the picture and the mother occasionally visited and she got to know eventually that that was her real biological mother mm -hmm. now her mother died in the early 80s so her mother died before she ran into this gentleman to, to marry him. Mm -hmm. So she, her father, her mother, I'm pretty sure her mother was alive and saw the guy. She was whoa, yeah. that's your father, you know? Um, but I'm a little confused on that. Okay, so you got to know your mother, okay? Mm -hmm. So throughout all those times of meeting your mother, you never brought up your father in a conversation. Her, no, um, she even states that her mother never talked about her father. And every time there was mention about her father, well, the only answer was he's not in the picture anymore. So she couldn't have showed pictures. She didn't have no pictures lying around. I guess not. Yeah. Um, this woman's name is Valerie Sprawl. Um, from uh, they were from Akron, Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um, apparently the the person who finally told her was the uncle. Right. Mm -hmm. Now what happened was the uncle. Um, and his wife split up years back and he disappeared out of the picture. Mm -hmm. But here's my, 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 my kick on this stuff. How would these family members keep this secret from her? Because apparently they knew. They knew it was her father. And they didn't say anything. What the fuck? Okay. On your point, here's mine. Okay. They got married. I'm pretty sure there was a whole wedding ceremony. Right, with her family there. So why the fuck did no one say anything right. at the wedding when the priest goes, uh, does anyone have just cause why these two shouldn't get married? Um, I would think there was somebody in that family with enough sense and heart in their soul to say, um, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. Right. It's your dad. Considering the only ones that that probably would have said something were already passed away. Her mother and her grandparents. Mm. They are already passed away. So I guess they got a nice fucking kick out of it. They they probably were like, what the hell? No, not 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 her parents and her grandparents. Oh, I'm talking about the rest of the family. The rest of the family. That knew. 
And that's just wrong. It's fucked up. It's they they basically promoted incest. Yeah, basically. Now, because this this happened to her, she got a phone call recently, right? Mm -hmm. And on this phone call was, um, uh, on the other end was a couple. Mm -hmm. They got married, but it was after they were married they found out they were brother and sister. Mm -hmm. That happens because sometimes that splits up. Mm -hmm. But they immediately divorce, and they're friends. Only now. I mean, that's understandable. That's completely understandable. You, but you her, never know. Yeah, you never but know. Her, what happened was their mother, they, you know, of course she brought them home. Mm -hmm. They got in, eloped. So no one knew they got married. Mm -hmm. They didn't even the, meet the gentleman until they brought him home. And her mom was like, um, that's your brother. I was like, yeah, whatever y'all do, uh, stop right now. So they broke ties. Oh, that's good. But became friends, mm -hmm. you know. Which is always good. Um, but my kicker on this is why didn't this woman's, Valerie's family, family tell her? Or anyone from his side of the family. Well, technically, I guess they would be the same family, but still. His family and her family? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because, of course, he's he still has other <laughs> family members. And then she has family members that she knows. Right. So, out of all those people, why the fuck didn't they say something? Why would they let that go on until after this man passed away or whatever? And I, I'm going to say this. I am pretty sure, I am a thousand percent sure, that her mother and grandparents were not the only ones that knew the real father. Hell no. Couldn't have been the only ones. You know? The whole family must have known this guy. They had to. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, he, I don't blame him. Why I don't blame him? He probably didn't know what she, he didn't know what she looked like anymore. Well, you can't blame her. And she had a different last name. He had a different last name. So I don't blame them. They're not at fault. The family is the ones that are at fault. The ones that knew that they were mother and daughter. Father and daughter. Father like and they, daughter. They, like they could have came up to him. Hey, that's your daughter. Right. Or going up there. Hey, that's your. Daughter. You know, but they didn't do that, <laughs> and that's the messed up part here. Family is fucked up. You know, and like I said, I don't blame him. Not at all. And I don't blame her. This mm. was years later. They're all grown up. They've they've both been married and divorced, and they had their own kids. You know. Now she has told her kids and her grandkids because mm. they're old enough, and they support her and love her because they say it's not your fault. And it's not his fault. Exactly. It's the family's fault. You know? And to me, she shouldn't have anything to do with those people. No. And God bless his soul. He probably passed away. You know, since he's passed away now. But right now, he's probably turning in his grave. Knowing what has come to light. And knowing what he didn't know. Yeah. You know, which is... All around is jacked up. It is. It's fucked up beyond belief. When I just read that story, I was like, "What? You know? You, you know how can they do that to a human being? Somebody they're in love with each other. If you know their father and daughter, you need to be the one objecting and saying the reason why I object is because that's his her father. That's his daughter." Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be happening. That is wrong. But no, they kept their fucking mouth shut. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Sickening. See, family can be fucked up at times, and that's the worst kind of fucking family right there. Yeah, straight up fucked up. All right, well, we'll be right back with our topic. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself for yourself. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Stay your ass glued to this shit. Do this. Roll, roll button. Good job, genius.